It's time for a Bauer bombshell. Tom, you're hearing of some post-coronation tensions between Queen Camilla and the Princess of Wales, Kate? Absolutely. What was very interesting was I heard from people who were very, very much involved 20-odd years ago, more than 20 years ago, in resus- resurrecting Camilla. Mm. Uh, their job was to take her from the mistress in 1996 and get her to be queen. And they were absolutely furious that they weren't invited to the coronation. There are dozens of people who helped Camilla become what she is today, the queen, and not the, just the mistress uh, who is being pelted with brown, brown rolls. If you look at the coronation footage, as the king and queen are, leave the thrones and head for the exit of Westminster Abbey on the coronation Saturday you'll see that everyone bows and curtsies to the king and no one moves a limb, a muscle, when Camilla passes. Mm. And that was because they were angry with Camilla. Camilla brought 20 Parker Bowleses to the coronation. There were four Middletons. All the people that helped uh, Camilla get the crown on her head were excluded from that coronation and they were furious. And not only that, Kate and William were angry too. And that anger, of course, Harry was angry, that anger went right through that small part of the congregation by the throne, by the whole, the centre mm. of West Lambert Abbey. And in that moment, it was absolutely noticeable to those people who'd been excluded from the coronation that nobody, let alone Kate, curtsied to Queen Camilla. Wow, and Kate didn't even allow her sister and brother to bring their partners to And the what party. was then noticeable was that at the Windsor concert the following day, William makes no reference to Queen mm. Camilla. And so there is a tension there. And the whole point of problem with Camilla is that she is exhausted at the moment. She's a mm. woman of 76, she's smoked heavily all her life, and she's not well. Those who met her in the weeks before the coronation noticed a very tired, very worn out woman mm. uh, with telltale signs of age, and she's clearly exhausted by the whole thing. And that why today, Kate was in Bristol, behaving like the Queen, very popular for the public, but Camilla has disappeared. And I think this is very, very uh, sad, a dangerous position for Charles to be in. He's got all the problems of Harry now boiling up, because there's no doubt Harry is going to, in his evidence, name Charles as one of the culprits of all his campaigns against him. He's got the problem with the police, and of course he's got the problem now with Andrew. Well, yeah, so can we talk about this for a moment? Because it's extraordinary. Uh, Prince Andrew essentially squatting now uh, at his mansion. It's the Royal Lodge, isn't it? But it's a, it's a mansion on, on the Windsor Estate, even though the plan for a long time, I actually first revealed this before the late Queen's death, the plan is to get William into Royal Lodge. But first I've got to get... Andrew out into Frogmore Cottage, and he's just refusing to go. Well, he's got legal grounds to refuse to go, of course, because he's signed a seven-year lease. And, of course, he paid a lot of money. But the problem is he can't afford the maintenance of that building, which must be well in excess of a million pounds a year. Well in excess. It's a vast place. So he is now literally in a, in a cleft stick. What should he do? And without Charles's help, he is really stuck there. Uh, and uh, Charles really has to force him out. There's no choice because uh, Andrew must accept that he is now going to go into a permanent obscurity. He looked a fool at the coronation with his garter garments. Uh, that was his last hurrah. But I just feel that Charles is exhausted by it all mm. and will become even more exhausted with the condition of Camilla, with the tension between Camilla and William and Kate and with the, all the other problems which are acu- accumulating mm. of too much estate, financial problems, a growing Republican movement. You know, he himself is 74. He's a bit exhausted by it all. And Harry and Meghan's attacks are not exactly. going to stop, Exactly, and they're they? going to go on. And so he'll want to box in Andrew and silence him. But the problem is that Andrew, instead of being noble and being discreet and understanding that he's the author of his own misfortune, is just going to make it very much harder for the royal family. And that's all some of these things didn't happen under the Queen, and that's the problem. Mm. With Charles, he generates problems, and that is a great misfortune. Wow. What a Bauer bombshell tonight. Absolutely loved it. Tom Bauer will speak next week. Thank you so much.